Hi, my name is Hans Hankin. I am a crew for the 49er class. I sail with Judge Ryan. I'm a member of the U.S. Sailing Team and a member of St. Francis Yacht Club and Cornell Yacht Club. I am here competing at the 2018 World Championships in Aarhus, Denmark. My name is Judge Ryan. I sail the men's 49er skiff class with Hans Hankin. Um, we are here in Aarhus, Denmark, getting ready to compete in the 2018 49er Worlds uh, in our campaign for Tokyo 2020. The first time I got on the boat with Judge Ryan, uh, can't say that I do remember, but I'd say that Judge is the first person to teach me how to trap. I never had trapeze before in my life. And he says, yeah, you gotta stand up straight, keep your feet together, and try to hike as hard as possible on your tippy toes. And so ever since then, that's what I've been doing. And in a reversal of process, now I'm teaching him how to trap on the 49er, because now he has to be trapping behind me. So now I feel like I'm teaching him what he taught me, which is pretty funny. So I got my bachelor's degree in aeronautical and astronautical engineering at Stanford University. And then I went back and got my master's in aerospace engineering. So I attended Brown University for my undergrad in uh, business economics. And then 2017, I finished a degree at the University of San Diego in uh, master's of, of real estate. We did a lot of on and off stuff due to schooling. Um, basically that when we got into the boat that winter of 2015, my first time in the boat and uh, Hans was still finishing his undergrad and then we made a big push for the Rio games um, ended up second there where the training partners for those guys did all the Rio stuff and then we came back and both went to grad school for most of 2017. I think the last so I mean we sort of dabbled with the whole Rio opportunity uh, we kind of looked at the class and we we're just pretty young not really by class standards but by US standards and uh, really wanted to give it a solid go. You know, we got like uh, 100, 150 days in the boat to be somewhat competitive for a U.S. Olympic berth. But now, now the quad has started ramping up much quicker than the previous quad. So the, the U.S. teams are a lot better and all the international teams are a lot better. And I think, I know that the goal now is to obviously go to the Olympics and then have a solid showing there and then keep rolling forward with the hopes of a medal. Um, I think the goal, we would like to go to the Olympics and you know, be in the talk of winning the medal, which is two years out and a lot of work on the table to do. Um, but I think with the squad we have right now and the level of intensity that the US program is bringing, it's a possibility. I would say the only thing I would have to add is that our campaign is basically just starting now. Yeah. We're, we're two years into the quad, so we're actually halfway to the Olympics in terms of, of quad standards. So we're a little bit behind the game, but in terms of our own participation in our own campaign, we're, we're just now starting. I'd say everything up until now has been kind of improvised and kind of offhand because we've both been in school. I, Judge was, was kind enough to let me finish my master's and didn't put me on the spot and tell me that I had to quit my master's and had to start sailing now to make this work. And cool enough, he actually went back and got his master's as well in real estate. So now that we're both out of school and finally able to sail full time, I think now we can put everything we have into it and be able to put 100% of all our effort and all our time and energy into making this worthwhile and making a dream. So in terms of rigging the boat, that's my job. I'm in charge. And there's been quite a few advances in the way that systems are rigged on the boat. For instance, the world champions and probably the undisputed best 49er sailors, Pete Blair, and um, they came up with a new system in Rio for rigging the control lines on the deck instead of underneath the wings. And so, though it seems simplistic and a little bit confusing for them to change something like that, the whole fleet actually adopted the system almost rapidly overnight. And it's become this new trend with across the 49er fleet to find and kind of create new systems that make the boat easier to sail and much more efficient in terms of controlling the sails and so forth. Um, so in that regard, yeah, there's been a f quite a few changes since Rio in terms of little rigging things here and there that have both made the boat easier to sail and much more efficient. I think one of the, one of the aspects of, for doing that was actually reducing windage under the wings. Um, and I think little, little things here and there, windage aloft, different things like that, uh, the fleet's getting so good and the speed increments are so small that anything you can do to gain that you know, 0.100 of a knot starts to make a difference. I personally don't like, I like to having the standard always on or either always off ratchet blocks for the spin sheets, primarily because I love, I, I have just grown up always sailing with the Harkin blocks and they've worked really well in terms of having the correct amount of feel on the kite sheet at all times. 
When for me, for the auto ratchet, when it clicks from on to off or on, off to on, that transition seemed a little bit, just a little different for me to feel what the kite tension was in the sheet. And so I kind of like having a consistent feeling.